All right, let's talk a little bit about student experience. So what it's like in the thick of it um, with Karen and Alec. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys kind of share because you're probably, you might have similar um, thoughts and experiences to share, but basically a lot of the questions we get at Oztrek, which I know you have a lot of insight on and we're a little bit more blind on, um, is really what like a day in your life looks like or even an average week look, looks like when you get up in the morning, how your, your, your classes are structured. Are you mainly on campus or some of it um, self-study at home? Um, and then, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the highlights of the program. Uh, and then uh, if you can chat a little bit about you know, I know Stuart touched on um, the UQ Med Student Society and support and all of that, but just what it looks like outside of your studies, what you get up to um, when you're not with your, you know, brains in the books and, and all of that. Um, and yeah, how you're enjoying it so far, if you want to be raw and honest about that. Okay, so I'm happy to start. Um, I'm in my clinical year, so I'm in my fourth year, and the last two years, you're primarily on placement. Um, I think your day depends largely on whatever rotation you're on. I can speak to my most recent rotation, which was orthopedics. So basically, we'd get in for 7.30 in the morning, do rounds for about a half hour to an hour, then head off to either clinic or theater. Theater is great. In a lot of cases, you get to scrub in. It was just, it's a really good learning experience. And in clinic, you spend a lot of time with the more senior doctors, seeing patients. In some cases, you can get the opportunity to see your own patients as well, um, do examinations, histories, and then report that to a senior doctor. So um, that will take pretty much most of the day. Um, during the day, you have opportunities to relax, to spend your lunches with other students and chat, and you often have classes in teaching. Um, sessions during the day at your clinical site as well. Um, evenings, you can relax and do more study. Um, but yeah, there are opportunities to take breaks and take time for yourself um, in the evenings and on weekends as well. Um, so highlights from my experience. Um, there are a lot of opportunities to do things extracurricularly. I think Something I really enjoyed in my second year was playing social soccer with friends. That was a lot of fun. And I think one of the highlights for me was traveling in my free time. So getting to go, you know, scuba diving in northern Queensland was absolutely fantastic. Uh, so getting those experiences um, and traveling around Australia was definitely a big highlight for me. And I guess for support, I think, was your other question, Amanda. Um, there are a lot of opportunities to try new things. Um, UQMS has a lot of clubs. Um, I was in UQ Mind, which was the mental health club for the first couple of years. They have another club called SWIM for women in medicine. So there's a lot of different groups you can join. Um, I did a little bit of Med Review, which is the musical in my first year. Um, and I find there's a very nice, large, diverse student group. So you've got students from Canada, you've got a cohort of Americans as well, and the Australians, of course. So it's it's really nice to meet people who are, you know, unique and different and from around the world and get a lot of time to spend with other students and make close friendships as well. Wonderful. Thanks, Karen. Alec, do you want to go ahead? Sure. So I can speak to sort of the preclinical years side of the program. Um, although there's been some changes for the new incoming cohorts, the proportion of like study versus clinical versus practical um, work is still very close to what Dr. Carney showed on his slides a little bit ago. Um, so most days I have a couple hours of classes in the morning that are very clinical science heavy, but also sometimes um, things like ethics and professional practice. Um, throughout the week, there's a few more practical, uh, sometimes hands-on classes, whether it's pathology or anatomy labs. Um, and then for about a day or so of the week, there's some sort of clinical um, practice where you have a actual doctor, so to speak, um, teaching you or a group of students either at the bedside and hospital. Um, so that was one of the benefits of year two I got to see as an actual patient interaction. And I believe they have that for year one to some degree now as well, um, as well as teaching you proper clinical examinations. 
Um, let's see, most of the days I'm home by like early or mid afternoon. And so I use that time to catch up on a lot of lectures. One of the great things I've really liked so far is flexibility in lecture delivery and that it's recorded online. It my may or may not change going forward, but it's allowed me to um, review lectures as needed. Um, and so I've really liked that aspect of the program. Um, as Dr. Carney also mentioned, I took part in what we call Urban Link here. So I did so voluntarily, but it's also a formal elective for now, um, where you get additional experience with a family doctor GP clinic. Um, and so that was fantastic and absolutely the highlight of this year, um, getting to really shadow a family physician, seeing like the wide breadth of clients they see, um, and then also getting to conduct some uh, history taking and I got to kind of tailor it to my own interest in mental health and psychiatry and conduct some mental health review plans. Um, so that was really fantastic. Um, I also managed to get an observership in Canada. Um, so in that instance, I really got to confirm psychiatry was my area of interest um, and also learned I really liked child and adolescent psychiatry. So that was really great. Um, and outside of school, kind of like what Karen was getting at, like Australia is massive and has like so many travel opportunities, both that are like really close to Brisbane and also farther off. And there's just so much to do in the country. It's so beautiful. Um, and in terms of like student support and other extracurriculars, UQMS um, is like also equally as massive as the cohort. There's so many different interest areas you can go into, like dermatology, um, there's a surgical, specific club, things like that. Funny that Karen mentioned UQ Mind because I'm also an exec of that club as well. So big advocates for mental health. Um, and there's so many student support services available from UQ specifically, whether it's disability support, international specific support, etc. 